Welcome back guys. What I have right here is a Nintendo Donkey Kong monitor and I've already taken the board out of the frame. Um, I, 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 could, I should have started the video with it all together and everything, but I didn't really think, I wasn't thinking about making a video for this, but I thought I'd go ahead and make a video of repairing this monitor. Um, this was attached to it. It says blows small fuse. So it's not working and I have taken, I've taken the board out and we'll come over here and I've got it right in the tub because you can see it is absolutely filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. just nasty so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I want to show you let me show you something I just recently got I got a Nintendo Donkey Kong cocktail table and the repair on the four board stack boards that I did were actually the boards that came out of this game so I got the game to go along with the board set. Then all I have to do is I'm going to freshen up the monitor because apparently the or supposedly the monitor works and the power supply works. But I'm going to freshen both up before I even turn it on. So yeah, that goes along with in the living room. It goes along with my Pac-Man. So yeah. So I will go ahead and um, pardon the sniffles. I've got a bad, bad cold. It's been really kicking my ass for quite, for this whole week. So I'm going to go ahead. I need to go buy some more simple green to clean this up. I'm going to clean this up too. And I'll, I'll go over all of that. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, Nintendo 20 EZV Sanyo monitor tube and frame that I just got done washing. Okay, it's checking it out. Um, how I did that is I sprayed it really good with Simple Green all over. And then I... Kind of scrubbed around with a toothbrush. Do not scrub this. This part of the monitor, just spray it. And what I did was I took a gallon of water, water gallon, like a milk gallon jug, and just poured water over it to rinse it. Do not scrub this. This black coating off of the monitor. Just spray it with Simple Green. Let the dirt run down a little bit and then rinse it. That's it. Do not scrub that part of the monitor. And I got this all good and clean. And what I did with this is I sprayed it with the Simple Green and then I rinsed it. And that was good enough to get all the dirt off of it. Then I went with my 91% alcohol. And I went ahead and I doused this hole from here back good with the 91% alcohol to evaporate out any water that might be like in the winding or in the rings or anything like that. You don't want no water in there. So just douse it really good with the alcohol. And that's about it. That's good and clean now. Okay, I have kind of skipped ahead. I went through and did the cap kit on this. Put fuses in it. Right there and then did it all of the caps and I replaced the horizontal output transistor here's the old one and I will show you I will attempt to show you this thing was tagged it had a note on it remember saying blows small fuse which means the the horizontal output 
flyback section was bad. If I set this to ohms, and bear with me, this is one-handed. This is supposed to have 50 ohms across it, across the base and emitter. And it has one ohm. So that is definitely not good. Now we'll go to diode test. And we're going to, let's leave that right there. We're going to leave that on the base and we should get a, that should be about 0.5 to 0.6 volts. This thing is definitely shorted out. This hot's no good. So I replaced it with this new one here. I got it soldered on, all connected up. New caps. And what I am going to do is I have the power cord running to my 100 volt outlet. So I've got a Nintendo transformer right here. What I'm going to do, I just want to make sure that this fuse doesn't blow. So I'm going to plug it in and see if the fuse blows. It's working. I heard high voltage, so... Yeah, I heard high voltage. I don't want to mess with that much. I just wanted to make sure that the fuse wasn't blowing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the monitor back together. Okay, I have it all put back together. And... I got no net glow. It's on right now. There's no net glow. There is nothing going on up on the screen. I do have high voltage. But I got no heater voltage coming out of that flyback. I'm hooked up to the heater pins. And I got nothing. So I am going to have to replace the flyback. So, okay, no big deal. I just wanted to see if I could save that flyback. But I can't, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug it, uh, discharge it, and go ahead and remove, remove the board and swap the flyback. Alrighty, I got the new fly back on. And there's really not a good way to mount that. So right now I just kind of got it zip tied out of the way. The heater is working. And I do have something on the screen. A little bit on the screen. So, I'm going to hook a board up to it, a, a Donkey Kong board up to it, and see what happens. Alrighty. Here I have a, a Nintendo Donkey Kong <clears throat> hooked up. This is an actual Nintendo power supply, which, in order to run this board properly, you need an original Nintendo power supply. You really do is it puts out a really strong MAG-5. It's engineered to run this board, and the AR setup that I have does not work with this board. It just doesn't. Switchers might be okay, but the AR is not. So I have a original Nintendo power supply right here, hooked up. I bought these cables on eBay specifically for this, these power cables. This one, 
in this one to plug into both of these boards. And here's my Nintendo monitor. It needs to degauss and the colors need to be adjusted a little bit. But there it is. Yep. I got cap kits for, uh, I got two Nintendo power supplies that I need to cap. So I'll do that. And that's it. Well, after looking at this for a while, I realize that green is basically non-existent or very weak. So I hope it's a transistor on the neck board and I don't have to pull the monitor back apart. But there's uh there's there's preamp drivers on the uh, on the monitor chassis. And one of those could very well be bad. Or it could just be the output transistor on the neck, which is what I hope it is. But no big deal. I know it's not the board. It's, it's, it's in the monitor. It's a problem on the monitor. The green just does not adjust at all. So it's really... This is supposed to be yellow. It's supposed to be yellow. You can see this is really dim compared to the blue and the red. It's just got a really weak green signal. It's got a bad driver transistor somewhere. So, so I will have to fix that. I went with my diode tester and tested all the transistors and they're all good and then I set it to ohms and I checked these pots and they're all good so I think the problems on the board so I'm gonna to have to pull the board back out again and go through the preamp transistors which are back in the corner here kind of right here ish can't really you can't see that anyway there, there's six driver transistors preamp transistors so I'll have to look at those All right, these are the two green drive preamp transistors. I pulled those out. I tested them, they're fine. I took the green output transistor out of the neck board. I tested it, it's fine. I went to pull the green bias pot out of the neck board and it's broke. So that I'm going to say is the problem. So I'll replace that, put it back together. Okay, now the colors are right. Remember this was a really, really blue. Now it's got more of a teal because of the green. I can adjust the green now. I just put a new pot on the neck board. So now it's Correct. I need to do a little tweaking to the colors, but they're all there, so it's all good. The weight you'll see the uh, on the high score table or whatever. You can see now you got a good. That's clearly yellow now, where it wasn't before. You see how you got yellow here now, and that's a brighter, brighter green. Oh, well, that fixed that. 
so good. Got a Nintendo monitor completely done. What I'm, my plan is, is to use one of these inverter boards and use this monitor as my universal test monitor. I can do Nintendo or I can do regular, just invert or non-invert. Alrighty, that's it for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching.